Hollywood, California, the Lux Radio Theater presents Spencer Tracy and Loretta Young in A Man's Castle. Lux presents Hollywood. A Man's Castle, a drama of two people who have nothing but themselves, yet find love and beauty and hope in a world that's all but passed them by. Starred, as they were in the original cast, are Spencer Tracy and Loretta Young with Arthur Hall. Tonight's special guest is Father Edward J. Flanagan, founder and director of the home made world famous by Spencer Tracy's recent picture, Boys Town. Louis Silvers conducts our music. If you were a screen star with a million-dollar complexion, what soap would you use? As fine as money you could buy, of course. So we think it's a pretty wonderful compliment to Lux Toilet Soap that nine out of ten famous screen stars use it. Lux Toilet Soap has active lather that removes thoroughly the dust, dirt, and stale cosmetics that might otherwise remain to choke the pores. It's when pores are choked in this way that unattractive cosmetic skin develops with its dullness, tiny blemishes, and enlarged pores. Use cosmetics all you like, but be sure to use Lux Toilet Soap regularly before you renew makeup, always before you go to bed at night. You'll find Lux Toilet Soap does a thorough job. Begin using it tonight. And now, the producer of the Lux Radio Theater. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cecil B. DeMille. Greetings from Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. Before they were big enough to see over a windowsill, both Spencer Tracy and Loretta Young were established actors. Loretta made her first movie at the age of four, and Spencer Tracy, overlooking his two Academy Awards, still contends that his best performances were delivered as a boy when he gave remarkably successful impressions of getting out of bed for school. He'd respond to his mother's call with a great clatter and dropping of shoes on the floor, then promptly back, bounce back to bed. Spence hails from Milwaukee, where he had three special friends. One was called Mousy, another was Ratty, and the third was, and still is, Pat O'Brien. Years later, he and Pat shared a boarding house room in New York, where Spence learned dramatics and how to live on pretzels and rice. His previous education had been acquired during enlistments in Ripon College and the United States Navy. First to employ him on Broadway was the Theater Guild. They decided he was worth $15 a week to act in R.U.R. He played a robot. Spence today has millions of fans, but none is more enthusiastic about him than he is about his favorite actors, George M. Cohen and the late Will Rogers. He lives in San Fernando Valley and has a tremendous liking for boats, horses, and black tea. His farm is also the address of his two sharpest critics, his young son and daughter, who admit he's all right in pictures, but much prefer Johnny Weismuller as Tarzan. Mr. Tracy, who appears through courtesy of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, is temporarily on the 20th Century Fox lot, making Stanley and Livingston. At the same studio, Loretta Young just completed the story of Alexander Graham Bell, another fine performance, we're told, by the girl who reached the heights of stardom through the unbeatable combination of natural talent and hard work. Loretta's the most famous of Hollywood's own four daughters. For the screen also claims her three delightful sisters, Sally Blaine, Polly Ann, and Eugenia Young. With a personality as enchanting as her beauty, Miss Young, as well as Mr. Tracy, starred on the screen in A Man's Castle. And both are here resuming their celebrated roles, Loretta as Trina and Spencer as Bill. Also from the film comes Arthur Hall, playing Bragg. Now it's time for the play. The Lux Radio Theatre presents Spencer Tracy and Loretta Young in A Man's Castle. It's a midsummer evening in New York. On a bench in Central Park sits a young man, a sartorial sensation in evening clothes, complete with tails, Inverness cape, opera hat and cane. With grand nonchalance, this modern Beau Brummel is feeding the pigeons from a bag of popcorn which he holds in his lap. He flicks an occasional glance at the other end of the bench toward the girl who sits there, shabbily dressed but defiantly neat. The girl is acting very strangely. As she watches the pigeons eating, there is a desperate, almost hysterical look in her eyes. The man in evening clothes studies her for a moment and then speaks. 
quietly. What's the matter? Come on, spill it. I've been watching you ever since you sat down here. You look like you were rehearsing something. What is it? Please. Please, I'm sorry. I... Come back here. What's the rush? Let me go or I'll... You'll what? I'll get down on my hands and knees for some of that popcorn. Hey, what is this? I thought I knew all the panhandling routines. Or are you the little girl reporter working on a sob story? Oh, please. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you really hungry? I ain't eaten in two days. Two days? Why not? I haven't any money. Neither have the pigeons, but they eat. And regular. Yeah, it must be great to be a pigeon. It's always somebody throwing you crumbs. If you had the brains of a pigeon, you wouldn't be hungry. Come on, let's eat. Eat? Do you mean it? I said it, didn't I? Come on. But, uh, where are you taking me? Well, the uh, Ritz roof is open. The Ritz roof? Well, I didn't ask for anything like that. I I, I can't go in there in these clothes anyway. Oh, I, I... shut up. Clothes got nothing to do with eating. Let's go. Want anything else? Oh, no, thanks. This is plenty. Yeah. For a pint size like you, you certainly can put it away. You're hungry, all right. Uh-huh. Yeah, but if you think I fell for that line of hooey, you're crazy. Nobody ever has to starve in a town like this. Why not? Because you don't. There's food all over the joint. Well, yeah, but you got to get near to eat it. Were you ever out of work for a whole year? I've been out of work all my life. The unemployment problem never bothered me any. Well, it's all right for you. You're rich. You wear your tails and your top hat and you eat steaks a foot thick. A <laughs> foot thick. You've got what it takes. Sure, I got what it takes, all right. Hey, uh, waiter. Yes, sir? Call the manager. Anything wrong, sir? No, no, everything's swell. I just want to see him a minute. Yes, sir. You know, you should never ought to skip meals. Oh, that was the best food ever I ate. I feel better now. You look better, too. Yeah. <laughs> if you filled out a little, you'd get by in a crowd at that. Well, you can't help the way you're made. Why can't you? Good evening, sir. Hello. You the manager? Uh, yes, sir. Did you want to see me? Yeah, sit down. What? Uh, yes, sir. Well, sir? You know, mister, there's supposed to be 12 million people in this country without work. Did you know that? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I, uh... and a lot of them are starving, so they tell me. Now, you take this young lady, for instance. Up to an hour ago, she hadn't eaten for two days, so I brought her in here and fixed her up. She feels swell now. Says it's the best food she ever ate. Well, I, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> the only trouble is she ain't got a cent, and neither have I. What? The... What's that? Yeah, yeah. So the feed's on you, brother. Well, now, look here. Now, uh, you know, there's a lot of ways of handling a case like this. You could call a cop and have the pair of us thrown in the can. Now, just a minute. Now, we'd be sent to the island where we'd be fed by the state for 30 days at least. The more bums the state has to feed, the more taxes you people have to pay. Is this your idea of a Now, joke? wait a minute, wait a minute. This is one of the joints that throws out enough leftover grub in a week to feed a thousand people. So you can afford one on the house once in a while. Now, look here. Am I right, right or wrong? Now, I'll tell you what I'll do with you. I'll, I'll, I'll put it up to your own customers here. I'll ask them whether it's right for you to let somebody die of hunger right outside your own dump. If they say I'm wrong, I'll admit it. No, but look, you... Ladies and gentlemen. No, no, shut up. Go on, go on. Get out of here. Get out. Okay, okay. The case is dismissed. Come on there, uh, Hosits. There's nothing like a good walk after dinner. You shouldn't have done that. We might have been arrested. Don't be a dope. Where do you live? I might as well take you home. Oh, that'd be all right if I had a home. What's the matter with you? Haven't you got anything? No. What do you figure on spending the night? I don't know. Have you got a grip? No. Well, get one somewhere. Then go to a hotel and register. Stay there till they hand you a bill and then tell them you're broke. And then what happens? Then they throw you out and you go to another hotel. Oh, I couldn't do that. Why not? Well, I'd be afraid to... Did, do you live in hotels that way? No, no. I got no use for hotels. Oh. Oh. Uh, what do you do for a living? I live. Yeah, I know, but I, I mean, you must do something. Those clothes. No. Oh, them? Uh-huh. Here. Look at the front of my shirt. What do you see? Why, the front of your shirt. Yeah. Now watch. Oh. Hmm, now what do you see? Oh, it lights up. Your old chest lights up. Yeah, sure, sure. You see what it says or can't you read either? Uh, Cavalier Barbershop, 16 chairs. Say, so you're an advertiser. Yeah, sure. Two bucks a night for this. Oh. All you got to do is walk up and down, flash the light on and on. Oh. Is, it, is this your regular job? No, no, I don't believe in regular jobs. I'm only doing this for a friend of mine. I sub for him on his night off. Oh. 
Uh, I suppose I'll have to get a place for to sleep tonight. What's your name? Trina. Trina? Uh-huh. I knew a cat once called Trina. What's yours? Bill. Bill. Oh, that's nice. Well, here we are, who's it? The river on one side, the railroad tracks on the other. Is this where you live? Yeah. Vagville on the Hudson. Built right smack on the city dump. How do you like it? Oh, it's swell. Gee, I've been in the city a whole year and never even knew there was such a place. That's one of the best things about it, the privacy. Uh, it's the only way to live. No rent, no taxes, running water, a whole river of it. The whole dump is lousy with southern exposure. <laughs> That's what I like best, them train whistles. To remind you of other places. You hear them all night. Don't you love the sound of it? It's scary, kind of. Nah. Gangway, get out of my way. Here I come, that's what it says. Come on. Which one of these shacks do you live in? I don't. Mostly I sleep in the open. When it rains, I take my choice. They're all my pals here, and I can bunk with any one of them. Oh, they must be swell people. The best. It's funny, when people got nothing, they act like human beings. We get along fine here. It's like one big happy family. Get away from me, I tell you. Don't bother me, or I'll smack you in the teeth. What's that? It's a guy named Bragg. He don't get along so well with his girlfriend. Oh. Now, go on. Oh, no, you don't. You stay right where you are. Did you hear what I said? Let go of our brain. You can't too tight me. I'll kill you first. <laughs> Bragg! Bragg! What do you want? Why don't you let Flossie alone? Why don't you mind your own business? Let her alone or I'll come over there and help her clean up the place with you. Ah, oh, shut up. What? Nothing. That's better. I was going to ask Flossie to put you up for the night, but maybe that's not so hot. Well, I, I could sleep in the open, I guess. No, that takes training. I got it. Bare left. Here we are. He went up into the mountain with his disciples. Hello, Ira. What's the good word? Say, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's the good word. That looks like that Gideon Bible I swiped out of a hotel last week. Oh, Bibles can't be stolen. The good word is free. I only wish I could get you to read it, William. I did. I skimmed through it one night. There's some very good reading in it. There's one place especially, the Songs of Solomon. It's great stuff. Who's it's meet, Ira? Ira here used to be a minister, but now he's a night watchman. Oh, not used to, Bill. I am a minister. If I choose to live down here, I have a reason. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Anyway, this is Hoosett's. How do you do? Oh, nicely, thank you. Yeah, nicely. Only she ain't got a place to sleep. I thought maybe after you checked out, she could camp here for the night. Welcome. When do you go to work? 11.30. Okay, she'll check in about 12. Oh, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Nuts. Come on. Where are we going now? What do you care? You want to see where I sleep? Yeah, where? You see that barge over there? Right over there? Uh-huh. The reason I like to sleep on that barge is because there's no roof on it. Oh. Gee, it must be wonderful with the water rocking it. Like a cradle, sort of, huh? Look, look at them ships out there with those sails. They look so kind of peaceful and contented like. Yeah. They've been laying there for years, rotting away with barnacles. That's what you get when you're anchored. Well, still in all, it's restful. Restful, yeah. So is a graveyard. Bill. What? You're a funny guy. Yeah. Why? Oh, I don't know. Well, wh what do you do when you're not walking around with your chest lit up? <laughs> oh, I do a lot of things. Or maybe nothing at all. Sometimes I walk the stilts. Stilts? Yeah, up on Broadway. Oh, I know what you mean. Way up in the air on those long wooden legs w with a sign on your back. That's right. Is it fun? I wouldn't do it if it wasn't. I like being up there looking over the heads of the crowds. Hey, you're a pretty nosy name, ain't you? Uh, I don't mean to be. Forget it. Bill. Bill, I want to thank you. You've been swell to me. I got your free feed, if that's what you mean. I guess you need somebody to look after you. Maybe. And, well, maybe you need somebody to look after you, too, Bill. Me? Oh, I don't mean like that, but... Well, who cooks for you and cleans your certs and things like that? Nobody. I do it myself. But wouldn't it be better if you had somebody? 
Now, listen, Hoses, don't be getting any funny ideas. Oh, I'm not. I don't like to be tied down, see? I live alone because that's the way I like to live. I sleep in the open because that's how I like to sleep. And I say what I want and I do what I want, and that's the way I'm going to do things always, see? Oh, but I wouldn't tie you down, Bill. Why, how could I? Yeah, sure, how could you? I'm like the wind, and you can't grab air, can you? Or can you? within and the Holy Spirit ever one God world without end. Amen. Those whom God hath joined together let no man put asunder. Of course this isn't a church but I am a minister and the words are the same. In the eyes of God you're now man and wife. Man and wife. Bill did you hear? Yeah I heard. Those whom God hath joined. Handcuffed you mean? Bill, you said you wanted to. Yeah, sure, I got weak. But I told you what it means, right next to nothing. I know, Bill, it's it's just the idea. I know. Hello, Trina. Oh, hello, Flossie. Where'd you get all that energy from? No, 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 no. Every time I see you, you're working. Oh, I was out of work for a whole year. Making up for lost time, I guess. This kind of work's not real work. It's fun. You're the only woman I ever knew who had seven wash days a week. <laughs> well, Bill's particular, he is. Anything that goes next to his skin's got to be clean. You know, Flossie, I guess he's the cleanest man in the whole world. One of these days, maybe Bill will buy me a washing machine. That ain't so important just yet. The main thing, Flossie, is a stove. Bill's going to get me a real stove. For a joint like this? Huh? What's the matter with the one you got? Oh, I can only make stew on it. I could cook Bill some wonderful things if I had a real stove. And he's going to get me one, too, as soon as he gets the money. Who ever heard of a bindle stiff getting money? What's a bindle stiff? A hobo. Can't stay put, except maybe in jail. I'm something... Uh, Bill can make all the money he wants if he wants to. He's got personality, Bill has. He's different. If he was different, would he keep you here in a dump like this? Well, what's the matter with you, Flossie? How can you say a thing like this? This ain't a dump. Not to me, it ain't. It's sort of a... Oh, I can't find the word for it. You know them things they got in the middle of the streets where people can stand till the traffic's safe? Uh, what do you call them? Safety zones? Safety zone. That's it. That's how I feel about this place. Like a sort of a clearing in the forest. Quiet and safe and peaceful. Oh, that's the only thing I don't like. Them train whistles. <laughs> I guess I know why you don't like them. Getting scared, ain't you? Always wondering if that man of yours will be on one of them trains someday. No. No. Uh, Bill's good to me. He gives me everything I want. Yeah, except maybe a stove. There, you see, Bill? Look at that one over there in the back of the window. Queen of the kitchen. Stove to be proud of. Come on, get out of here. I ain't no window shopper. Oh, it's beautiful, ain't it? And cheap, too. Only five dollars. Huh? Well, that is five dollars down and only two dollars a month for only twelve months and no interest. Yeah, no interest is right as far as I'm concerned. I don't go for anything on any installment plan. And only a year that stove would be off. A year? You think I'm going to hang around this town a year? Oh, it's such a beautiful all-around kind of a stove. Forget it. Go on home. Ain't you coming, too? Not yet. What's for supper tonight? Stew? Stew. Go on home. Bill. Bill, come down close to me. I want to whisper something. What? Just that. <laughs> Goodbye, Bill. Kissing me in the street. I ain't that cute. Queen of the kitchen. Five dollars down. Queen of the... Hey, Bragg! Bragg! Oh, Bill. What's doing? Nothing. I've been looking for you. How about that two bucks you owe me? What are you hounding me for? I've been working my head off trying to get Doe to pay you off. Why well, I'm working right now. You don't look at What kind of work? Serving a summons. You get two bucks to throw, but this one's so tough there's a bonus goes with it. Ten bucks for this one. Well, why don't you serve it and get the money? Why don't I? What do you suppose I've been trying to do for three days? It's for a dame and a show. You can't get to her. What do you mean you can't get to her? She's got a bodyguard. I'm the third guy that's tried this week. Hmm. 
Ten bucks, huh? Hey, suppose I serve this summons for you. I could use five bucks. Will you split? I'm telling you, you can't do it. She's got a bunch of gorillas with her day and night. Will you split? Sure, but you can't get to her. I'll take care of that. I got a touch of gorilla in me myself. Is that you, Bill? Who else would it be? I'm just fixing dinner. It'll be ready in a minute, I think. Yeah. What's this book? That? Oh, oh, that's the Bible. Ira gave it to me. He wants me to read it. Yeah. Hey, there's one thing in here you don't want to miss. Gee, I wish I had some kind of a stove, Bill. Listen. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. Get this. Thy cheeks are comely with rows of jewels. It's hard to cook with this kind of a fire. Behold, thou art fair, my love. Thy lips are like a thread of scarlet. You can't get an even heat. Thy neck is a tower of ivory. How fair and how pleasant thou art, O love. Thy neck is a tower of ivory. You know you're a heck of a looking woman for a guy like me. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to be a very good stew. Look at you. Skinny, no hips. Yeah, I bet I put those potatoes in too soon. A man like me ought to have a woman who's a woman. You're just bones. Yes, sir, that's just what I did. I put those potatoes in too That's soon. all you are, bones. Do you know that? Well, I'm young, kind of. That don't make no difference. Maybe it does. Maybe I'll sort of fill out after, huh? No, you'll never look like a woman. You ain't got it in you ever look like a woman. <laughs> what difference does it make as long as you're good to me? I ain't good. You don't get that idea in your head. That's the way they spoil them, being good to them. You gotta step around if you're gonna be with me or get your teeth knocked out. I think I ought to knock them on anyway. Come here. Bill, what's the matter? What's happened to your face? You're all cut. Never mind my face. Here. Look at this. What is it? It's a receipt. That's what it is. Five good hard earned bucks for the queen of the kitchen. Bill, you bought the stove. My stove. Shut up. You got your stove. I feel like. I oughta... What, Bill? Come here. Little old hoosets. Oh, Bill. That's the first time you've ever kissed me like that. Bill, I love you. I love you so much. Cut it out now. You women get some phony ideas, all right. <laughs> Come on, I'll get to work. And if that stew's burned, I'll pour it down your back. <laughs> down comes the curtain on the first act of A Man's Castle, starring Spencer Tracy and Loretta Young. In a few minutes, they will return for the second act of the play. Now, during our short intermission... Say, Bill, who's the girl in blue? Where? Well, by George, I didn't know she was here. Excuse me, old man. Well, of all... Say, Ned, who's that girl Bill's running after? See the one in blue? There. Oh, sure I see. Who wouldn't? The one in blue's best-looking girl in the room. You want to meet her? You bet I want to meet her. Come on, let's get going. Who's the girl in blue? Well, whoever she is, she's popular. The kind of girl men want to meet. She's the kind of girl who's making the most of her looks. You can be sure she hasn't let unattractive cosmetic skin develop. The little blemishes and enlarged pores that from chip pores. Popular girls everywhere use Lux Toilet Soap to be sure of thorough cleansing. The active lather of this gentle white soap carries away from the pores every trace of stale cosmetics, dust, and dirt. It's foolish to run risks when it's so easy to give your skin this care the screen stars use. Nine out of ten of them use Lux Toilet Soap. It's the care your skin needs. So, be wise. Use it regularly. Before you renew makeup, always before you go to bed. Nine out of ten screen stars use Lux Toilet.